We shall now briefly demonstrate the analysis that was undertaken in order to compare the estimated fields from the satellite images with those recorded by the farmers. And this was done in R statistic, and therefore you'll need R Studio installed on your machine for you to undertake this exercise. The code had different areas. The first part of the code is to read the data. This data is in the table that was displayed earlier on. We then have a linear model which is used to relate the estimated area with the measured areas. We have an empty plot which plots the X and the Y uh, axis on which the points shall be drawn. From there, since we shall be using the confidence intervals to see to what accuracy the areas were measured, we shall then have to draw some lines, and these are the properties of the, lay, of the lines that shall be drawn. So it is defined in terms of the color, the size, and so on. And so the points are added, and of course there's a legend to it. A legend is added in order to display. Once all this is done, then the code can be run. The outputs of the R process are displayed in a PDF document. And we can see that it's an XY graph where on the X axis, we have the reported areas in hectares, and this is by the farmers while on the y-axis we have the estimated area and this is from the Sentinel-2 images. We have three categories. The first one is the overestimated, the second is the correct measurements and the third one is the underestimated. Everything in blue and which lies on the diagonal line was correctly estimated, meaning that there was a one-to-one -one match between the reported area by the farmers and the estimated area from the satellite images. The ones indicated in purple indicate that the reported area by the farmers was overestimated compared to the estimated area from the satellite images. This could be attributed to the fact that when most of the farmers report the area of their farms, they only report the actual size of the farm and not what is under agriculture. So you may find that the area reported is large, but the area under cultivation is just a fraction of the area that is reported. And finally, the area that is indicated in green is what we are saying was underestimated. This means that the area that was reported by the farmers was lower than the area that was estimated from the satellite images. With this, ladies and gentlemen, we are able to demonstrate that satellite images, more so the Sentinel-2 images, can be used to give an overview of the measurements of agricultural areas and the areas under agriculture. Therefore, it is possible to estimate the area under agriculture accurately and thus predict the yield which is expected.